We are just three days away from the start of a small town case that has transfixed the nation. With his trial about to begin, an alleged business partner is speaking out about a Zumba dance instructor in Maine accused of running a prostitution ring. ABC's John Shriven joins us this morning from Kinnebunk. Good morning to you, John. Bianca, good morning. A judge has now cleared the way for the trial of the alleged booker, Mark Strong, to start on Tuesday. But before he steps inside the courtroom facing charges of solicitation and invasion of privacy, he wants to set the record straight. For the first time, we're hearing from the man accused of helping to run the Zumba prostitution ring in this small town in Maine. Mark Strong admits he initially bankrolled the studio so 30-year-old Alexis Wright could teach workout classes. We had a friendship. We talked often. Um, I may see her once a month. The scandal unraveled this past fall when Kennebunk police raided the Pura Vida dance studio and a nearby office, confiscating detailed records, hours of videotape, and what's now known as The List. More than 100 names of clients who allegedly paid right for sex. Police are making those names public. I thought she was a little, I don't know, not risque, but a little flirtatious at times. Married for more than 30 years and a father of two, Strong also admits he had a sexual relationship with Wright. Never became romantic. It was just physical? It was strictly physical. I have no comment. Wright has been charged with more than 100 counts of prostitution, violation of privacy, and tax evasion. The indictment also alleges that Wright secretly recorded over 100 hours of video with her clients, something Strong denies knowing about. He denies any wrongdoing, but he says he will spend the rest of his life apologizing to his wife. I'm sorry for any dishonesty for the, the intimate relationship that I had with uh, Alexis Wright. As for Alexis Wright, the, accused, the alleged Zumba prostitute, her lawyer says she's innocent. Wright will have a chance to tell her side of the story when her trial starts in May.